Hey, this is Dave White with Quad City Safety here to talk about something that's often missed. And it's when we look at these shoes, obviously it looks like, you know, we kind of have a, you know, a, more of a sporty type uh, athletic versus just a traditional office shoe or something that a manager might wear. Both of them are protective toe. But the key that we're missing here is one is ESD, one is EH. So they're completely different things and sometimes the terminology gets kind of mixed up. So everybody can remember kind of a leather bottom shoe when you were a kid, you kind of skirted across the carpet. Then you would walk up and you would just shock the hell out of somebody. And it was fun. Well, that was because that you had the ability to conduct the electricity with that leather sole. So we had the, the uh, ability for electrical electric to go to ground. So an ESD shoe gives us that ground or gives us grounding so that we don't have that shock. We can't build up that electric like we could with an electrical hazard. Because again, it's whether electric will pass through the shoe and go to ground or whether it keeps us from grounding out. So a lot, one of the key things to always remember is in these tags, it's always here in the tag, is this one EH. This guy, when we flip it around and we look at it, it's marked as an electrical ESD shoe. So we have two different standards that depending on where you're working at can be very important. The worst thing we would want to do is have an electrician wear this shoe versus maybe somebody that's in a chemical plant where it's highly explosive wear this shoe. So if you need more information on that, please don't hesitate to give us a call.